So there are a few proper ways to clean intake valves with using sandblaster gun, but the intake manifold has to be removed. But if you are using cleaner, you don't need to remove the intake manifold. But a lot of you asked me about this method using zip tie and a drill. So in today's video, I will test it and show you the result and the risk that nobody talks about if you're gonna damage the engine. Hello, it's Alime. So in the past videos, I showed how to clean intake valves with the sandblaster gun and also with the cleaner. Both of these has pros and cons. So with the sandblaster gun, you have to remove the intake manifold to get access to the intake valves. While with the intake valve cleaner, you don't have to remove the intake manifold. You're just gonna spray it while the engine is running and it will do the cleaning for you. Both of these videos will be in the video description box and also YouTube card here if you wanna check it out. Some of you recommended me how to clean intake valves with a zip tie. So many people did that video and some of them had very good result with it so i wanted to show you how to do that if you have a better result we're not going to be using sandblaster gun and also cleaner if you have a good result with a zip tie so in today's video we will try that together and we will see how good it will be so the idea with the zip tie we're going to be using like a brush and we will put it on a drill and it will be cleaning the intake valves like this so the idea of using zip tie because it's made of nylon it's not gonna scratch the surface of the intake valves but it will be able to remove the carbon buildup on the intake valves so i'm gonna cut these and put it on a drill so depending on the distance of your intake valve you should cut this and i'm gonna cut this from here and it's not gonna be wobbly like this and then i will put a zip tie here so it will be like a brush and doesn't open like this right, it's ready now and this will be adjustable i can put it the front and it will be more aggressive and if you put it back it will be more opening and soft but i will put it the middle for now and we will test it i've already removed the intake manifold for proper cleaning but we're gonna test zip tie cleaning first Alright, after using it in one valve and here's how it looks. It removed some of the carbon but it's not fully clean and it looks like this. And I lost one of the zip ties which I put it here. So you have to be careful about this. It doesn't stay over there otherwise it will be stuck between the valve. Even if you're not putting the zip tie here, maybe some of the part here will break down and stays over there. Here's why you should not clean the intake valves with a zip tie. It scratched the carbon instead of removing it properly, leaving an even dirty surface. Risk to valve seats. If the valve even slightly open, the zip tie can scratch the valve seat, which can affect the compression. Uneven cleaning. You don't have full control of cleaning, so it cleans randomly and unevenly. Lack of precision. You can't focus on one area at a time like a proper cleaning method. And the biggest risk is broken zip tie pieces. If the plastic debris stays behind the valve and you can't see it, it will get trapped between the valve and the seat. It will cause sealing and compression problems. Bottom line, it looks easy, but the results are inconsistent and the risk is way bigger than the benefits. So if you want an effective way and clean the intake valves properly, sandblasting gun is the perfect way. It will give you the best result like new. And with sandblasting gun, you are using walnut shell, even if the walnut shell gets inside the engine it will burn and comes out and the walnut shell is very gentle on the surface it's not gonna scratch the valve or the valve seat and here are the intake valves before using sandblaster gun with walnut shell you will not get a result like this with any cleaner hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new if it was like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye for now